here we are about to try out Stanley Parable and uh, let's see where this goes. What? It looks like it's cut off on the stream. But let's see once it loads if that fi if we can fix it from there. Oh boy. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Right. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And Wait. although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And Until then one, one day, day, something very yeah. peculiar <laughs> happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Why is the, the picture so messed up on the right? Like right there. That's so weird. Hold on, I need to fix this. But it doesn't go, oh, that's why. I was in, I see. There we go. All right. Video. Yeah, it was in uh, 4 3, not 16. 9. All right. What? Interesting. Whoa. Complete tunnel vision. Bump it up just a tiny bit. All right. Here we go. Much better. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Anybody? Okay. Oh, wait. There's two people sitting there talking at one point. That looks like an investigation room. Not. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. We'll just follow the narrator Yet for there now. There's not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Room closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Whoa. Oh my god, what, what kind of office is this? Well, hold up, hold up. What is that? I can't read it. Yep, can't read it. 
Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons <laughs> on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, there it is. Uh oh. It was all a dream. Okay. Off to a interesting start, I guess. Apparently this game has like seven different endings Descending from what I've seen. Into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Interesting. Stanley walked straight ahead through mind the control door, the facility. Mind control facility. And the escape is to the left. Okay. We'll go in now. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. What? Did he have the strength to find out? Why not? It's a camera button. Employee observation protocol. All right, let's press the big button. Now the monitors jump to life. Their Ooh. true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's Damn. co-workers. <laughs> the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh, man. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this what, the what number were we? We're 427. His job, that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? 427, where's it at? 427, uh, right there, employee. No, he Take refused me up. to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Obviously. Here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or <laughs> content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Uh, big red button? There's some button up there. No idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Just pre pressing buttons right now. Alright, let's try this one. Oh, wait. Is 
there a sprint? No, but there's crouch. There's three. What happens if I walk down here? Nothing. Ah, that's bright. <laughs> uh, facility power. Okay, I guess we'll just go through here. Idle awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay. So we turn it off, and then what? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? It only just yes. began. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Freedom. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it's actually it just a giant person. screen. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his oh. skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. This is the way. And Stanley was happy. Ah. Oh. Happy ending. Well, there we have it. Pete the game. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, time to go through a few more times, see what else happens. It literally took 20 minutes. Welcome back. Ah, uh, oh we know that says 88 on uh, the door. Fourth, okay. 430. What? Four thirty five times. workers were gone. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think That's achievement funny. is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort from oh my gosh. Cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, <laughs> almost certainly 50 clicks. All right, let's see what happens. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Ah, uh, 417. 20 clicks into 417. 
Wait, is this it? Oh, yep. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Or 37? Or... Four three seven. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door four one five. Let's give it ten clicks or so. Four one five. Seventeen. Now back to door number four three seven. Four three seven. Wait, where? Oh, there it is. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? What? All right here? All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> 417? That one's right here, right? Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419's desk? Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Ah, uh, 416. We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! Where'd it go? Here it is. Finish it off, Stanley! Five <laughs> clicks on door 430! 430. 420. 416. Oh, wait. Was 430 back in that other room? Yeah, I think it was in the original one. Yeah, here it is. Yes! There we, we go. It. Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? Genius. What? Is a pencil sharpener? Okay. So, what else do we have? I refresh. That doesn't work. Uh, for the entire duration of a Tuesday? Wait, it is Tuesday. What? <laughs> Quit the game and then start it again. Welcome back. Complete the terrible under 4 minutes and 22 seconds, not including load times. You can't jump. Go outside. Don't. Don't play the Stanley Parable for 5 years. Oh my gosh. An achievement. Is there a guide on what to do? All right, let's just let's just roll with it. Let's just I uh, go different routes that we didn't go before, and see where it goes from there. I guess. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the- This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Stand here, drinking it all in. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. <laughs> really worth it. Absolutely worth it. How about the, uh, At this point, uh, yeah. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. <laughs> it's possible that this is why everyone left. 
But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. And so he sure. detoured through the maintenance Whoa. section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Uh... Oh. Let's go down. Loading. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. <laughs> so now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here, it's, um, left. I probably want to go right. Go right. Open that one. Oh no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. No. Oh my no, god. No, not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? This one. Now let's see. We down right left down left right yep yep okay okay yes i've got it now this story is absolutely definitely this way ah uh, there's a car there the headlights on why is that when we press the button we no, hear cue no, boys no 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 this isn't right at all you're not supposed to be here yet this is all a spoiler Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just <laughs> back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. Oh, no. This time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Oh, man. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Uh, so we'll go to the right Wait, again. Stanley. Wait. Wait, Wait what? what? No, I'm, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something <laughs> change? Stanley, I wasn't expecting did that. Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Oh, my gosh. So many doors. Uh. Oh, man. Okay, this one. Leads into the same room as that one. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you they're her definitely guilt. Everyone knows what story here you before. did. They're just holding back just, to let you torture do we need yourself. To the game again? What? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever oh, progress look. by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Oh, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, yep. There's it's no worse. doors now. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Oh, sure. Yeah, I totally didn't recognize that it was just loading right there. Man, it's cold. Aha! 
I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Wait, we're just walking. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. What? Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Yes. Do you remember, Stanley? Or do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! <laughs> you win. Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? Wow. I'm getting weirded out How by whatever you. this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. <laughs> All right. I've got a solution. This time, Stay to make sure Carol. you don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such Whee. that a destination is inevitably Whee. conjured into being Whee. via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Whee. I'm actually following. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. Fern? Stand, oh, this guy? This fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Sure, we'll... Wait, what? We're back oh, at the God. office? No! No, no, line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, look um, at where we're at. No, 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 not again, line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... No, oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Again, again. You know what, Stanley? What? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Sure, why not? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. Oh what God! Want our story it's going be? in circles. Go wild, use your imagination, whatever it might be, Stanley. What? I'm ready for it. Oh no, not you again, Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Oh, oh, jeez. 
Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, uh, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Open it up. All right. The confusing ending. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight eight times? <laughs> That's really how all After this After a long time, Stanley dies. Determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing. Wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer stopped. Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, oh boy. whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite yeah. sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... <laughs> Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew I think now it well. actually Perhaps restarted. Perhaps he wanted to by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wait, <laughs> there's all the yellow lines again. Wow, yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. You mean the first open door in front Stanley of him? Was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Do not jump from the cargo lift when in motion will cause death. Apparently for misuse. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize it, but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story <laughs> and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Woo. All right, let's go again and not jump to our death. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. You thought. We're starting to uncover what's going on. When Stanley here. came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the we meeting room. Through that and Stanley one? knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Nope. The lounge was sublime. A work of art. 
But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Technically, this is the first Stanley open so door on my left. Following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Here we are. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this Wait time. Wait a minute. There's someone what if you can go down there? Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. We need to go Please. down there eventually. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh dear God. That's her, Stanley. Hello? You need to be the one to do this. I'm answering. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... Get your day Ah! <laughs> gotcha! Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Why is it pushing me forward? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, uh, doing exactly what he's told to do. I'm Stanley. Now he's pushing a button. <laughs> now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic I'm watching this thing. New lands. I don't trust it. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own dreams. Where's the TV? First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Spend so time with the boys. Further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even matters. Is this what the true ending? Each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Ah, what happened Down here? Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And, and again, again. Over and again. And, over, and again. And hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. 
but he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see? Can he just not hear me? <laughs> How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. That's really a question, to, nothing. But I don't make the rules. <laughs> I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please die. Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Black screen. Oh my gosh. What is this? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? There's papers. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. They're Perhaps everywhere. He simply missed a memo. There's a green paper. The when paper Stanley trail stops. The set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Should I get? All right, we'll go to the left this time. Yet there was not a single person here either. Don't get Feeling fired. A wave of Tips for not getting Stanley fired. Decided Don't to get go fired. Up to his boss's office, hoping he might coming to a staircase. All right, Stanley we'll go down this time. To his boss's office. Oh, it's a car. Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, another car. He taken that risk. All because he believed everyone had vanished. One, two, B, four. Think he was crazy, and then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe he thought to himself, "Maybe I am crazy." All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason. The at all. same room. None of it made any logical sense. Over and sense. over and, and over. And this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? What? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? What? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer. What is that beeping? Explanation. Next time his we pass it, I'm going to check it out. Gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh God. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Whee! It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley like, actually, is why is there a right car now, here? As he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. 
Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. But it Let never came. wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Yo, Let me continue on, pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, look at that. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have ah. a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I it's must turning be real. red. I Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. As much as studying she for my permit test. Dressed, nice, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on What's this that? particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Oh. What? <laughs> what an ending that was. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided what? to go to the Oh man, it goes to the left this time. A memo. Wait, I thought I went to the right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting. Of course, meeting we room, the one on the right. Knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. 